Brooke, look, there's two objects right here on the table. I didn't even see those there. Look, I think they're the same size. I wonder yeah. what the volume is. Mine says 355 milliliters. Mine too. They have the same volume. Hello, I'm Professor Foley. And I'm Professor Noyce. Volume is the amount of space an object takes up. The soda in this can is a liquid. We'll measure its volume in milliliters, which is a metric unit for volume. Hey, Michael, let's go do something else because we got the other project to do. Let's go. Leave our car here. All right, let's go. Hey, Brooke. Yeah? Wanna be really silly? What? We put our objects in those dudes' water. Let's try it. Uh. Oh my god! Mud sunk and yours floated! That is so crazy! Yes! Wow! 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 So, Brooke, how come if our objects have the same volume, yours floated, but mine sunk? Maybe it's the mass. What's mass? Mass is the amount of matter in an object. It's similar to weight. My lab assistants are going to use these triple beam balances to measure the mass of our two objects, the Coke and the Diet Coke. The Coca-Cola has a mass of 384 grams. The Diet Coke has a mass of 369.5 grams. Let's examine the data that we've collected so far. We know that both of our objects have the same volume, 355 milliliters. We've just discovered that they have a different mass. The mass of the Coke was 384 grams, while the Diet Coke had less mass only 369.5 grams. So what does this mean? So Brooke, I'm starting to get confused here. There's two measurements for volume and two different measurements for mass. I wish there's a simpler way to compare our objects. Density! Density is mass per unit of volume. What it really measures is how much stuff is in a given space. Brooke, I wish we could figure out the density of our objects. Maybe we divide the mass by the volume. <laughs> Hello there, Professor Foley here again. Professor Noyes back too. The equation for density is D equals M over V. In other words, the density of an object is equal to the mass of that object divided by its volume. There's an important rule for density units. All density units must be expressed in terms of both a mass unit and a volume unit. An example of a density unit would be grams per milliliter, or mass per unit of volume. OK, guys, it's time to get down here and figure out the density of this Diet Coke. All right, Brooke, let's get down with some calculations here. Carry my two, and then I plug in the four. I think I got it. That's right, guys. We took our mass, divided it by our volume, and calculated the density of the Diet Coke can to be 1.04 grams per milliliter. Great job. Now we're going to perform the same density calculations to find the density of our other object, the regular Coke. Got it. Let's have a look. Brooke divided the mass of our Coke by its volume to find the density of the Coke 1.08 grams per milliliter. Another great job. Wow, that explains everything. Sure does, Connor. Let's have a look. 
Our Diet Coke's density is here. The density of the Coke is shown here. Our water here at Lemoyle has a density right in between, 1.06. Because the Diet Coke is less dense than water, it flows. The Coke has a higher density than water, which means it will sink. Well, Brooke, we sure learned a lot about our objects today. Yeah, I learned about mass, volume, and density. <laughs> you sure did, Brooke. And I hope our video has helped the rest of you learn a little bit more about mass, volume, and density. And don't forget, science rules! <laughs>